Bethany's past comes back to haunt her as we head to Coronation Street for a double bill tonight at 7.30 and 8.30. Time now for this morning. This morning, we're checking into a yoga retreat. Ferry.co.uk sponsors this morning. There you go, Marcus. Marcus. What's your prediction? Oh, he's going to go. He's, he's going to go. go. He's going to go. He's going to go. Yes! Saved! John Pickford! England on the brink! Russia yes. Hello and welcome to your Wednesday this morning. Well, I hope your heads aren't too sore today from all the celebrations last night. What a night. Yeah, croaky throat time. I mean, I had a croaky throat you before did. it started, but wow, croaky Amazing. throat now. They Amazing. make us sweat, don't they? <gasps> if you saw this show yesterday, you would have uh, already known that we had the win in the bag after Mystic Marcus, our predictor pig, yet again, <laughs> got it go. right. He now, I mean, he has all the way through had 100% success rate this World Cup, Who correctly predicted the result of every England match. That's amazing. Well, of course, a huge well done to all of our boys who, let's face it, didn't have it easy against a very, should we say, fiery Colombian team? Cheating. Well, it's clever from England. Tony in cheek, I said about the love train, but you cannot mark, but right in front of the referee. Well, a long time here. And how much more of this protest can the referee take? Stadium. Watch this as Raheem Sterling comes off at half time. One of the Colombian technical staff, clearly official, telling him just to calm down, but what a little bit of an evil grin there from the Colombians. Yeah, well, think about that on the plane home. Yeah, but that was, I mean, that is so mean. It's that just is so mean. It's just so low. But to take it it's off. Grimy and grubby. I'm with him on this one. And I tell you what, Alison Hammond went round to the uh, the Colombian ambassador yesterday yeah. and she delivered goodwill, uh, a big bag of Greggs, yes. so that he could sit there and enjoy the match. I know. Yeah, we want them back. <laughs> if you haven't eaten them all, ah, oh, tell you it what. It was very noisy. But listen, they didn't win in the end, did they? So no. That was the no, ultimate well, thing, the is thing is that we it won. It doesn't always pay. Cheating doesn't pay. The stress continues, guys. Well, you, Saturday. You have been sending in your celebrations. And this is Amanda and uh, and her dog. Look. There we go. Look, watch it, this dog. Even the dog's angry. Oh. Look, he doesn't like He's... it. He oh, knows. That's, what's going on here? Man's best friend to the England team says, no, you cheating <laughs> Go people. on, finish it. Players. <laughs> <laughs> It's really hard to say that and not say the other bit. And then we've uh, got uh, we've got Marie, and, uh, and Marie had her two brothers watching uh, watching the penalties. Watch this. I think this was up and in house houses up and down the nation. Really, that sweaty, topped off, naked men. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got a beauty of those coming up in a moment. <laughs> uh, also, celebrities have been sharing. Oh, uh, hang on, you missed the Georgian Dragon Pub in Tunbridge. Oh yes, don't miss them. The that Georgian Dragon one. Pub in Tunbridge. There we go. Look at that. I mean, you just don't get those moments. First ever penalty shootout that England have won in a World Cup, ever. And you see scenes like that, quite right too. So we said uh, celebrities have been sharing their celebration videos as well. First up, Mark Wright, he was in LA. This is what, how he celebrated. <laughs> ah. So if you, want, if you want a, a, a sweaty, topless man, um, uh, we're, not, we're not sure whether he's uh, like a grown-up baby or...